for Rahui Katne. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health. What action, if any, has been taken in light of the study Ethnicity and Management of Colon Cancer in New Zealand? Do Indigenous patients get a worse deal? Which concluded that Māori New Zealanders with colon cancer were less likely to receive adjuvant uh, chemotherapy and experienced a lower quality of care compared with non-Māori patients. The Honourable Tony uh, Ryle. Mr Speaker, the study the member refers to was published in July last year and was based on data from 1996 to 2003. Uh, the study is, however, consistent with many earlier reports that show access to cancer treatment for all needs to be improved further. The issues raised in the study were incorporated in the planning and design of the government's $24 million bowel cancer screening program announced last year, which is being piloted in the Waitamata District Health Board. Rahui Kautane. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What explanation can be given for the fact that Māori were more likely to die during their post-operative period, significantly less likely to receive chemotherapy for stage 111 disease, and more likely to experience a delay of at least eight weeks before starting chemotherapy? Uh, the Mr Speaker, there's a complex range of contributing factors and a range of opinions as to the relative weighting of those factors, for example, socio-economic and the proximity of treatment services. What I can say specifically on chemotherapy is that treatment times are now being much more actively monitored, and I'm advised the latest data shows that no one has needed to wait more than six weeks to start chemotherapy, and most started within four weeks. And that is a significant improvement from the time that the survey was taken. Yeah, yeah. Rahui Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does the Minister agree with the article published in 2010 that attention to health system factors is needed to ensure equal access and quality of cancer treatment for Indigenous and ethnic minority populations? And if so, what is he doing to address these factors? The Honourable Tony Ryan. Mr. Mr Speaker, I think there certainly are, is a need to improve the services as the stated by the member and indeed for all patients. That's one of the reasons why the government's investing $24 million in a bowel cancer screening programme. The Waitamata project will include 7,000 Māori in the pilot population. And I can also announce or, or advise the member that Pharmac has widened access to two additional drugs for bowel cancer, Octeriotide in July 2010 and Kate Sitterbein in October 2010. Question 